All right, today we're going to cover how to set up agreements in Dynamics 365 Field Service. Then we're going to take a look at how to use them to automatically generate work orders and invoices. So today I'm going to be working in a demo environment, I'm just using some sample data for this demonstration. Now, agreements are most commonly used in field service for maintenance schedules. Uh, and you can set them up to be daily, monthly, quarterly, annually, and, and, and there's a lot more flexibility beyond that with the scheduling once you get in to set up your recurrences. In many cases, they're used to perform routine maintenance or inspections, uh, maybe to keep a service schedule on a part or, or a piece of equipment or an asset, uh, sometimes even as a war part of a warranty that you might offer to a customer. But in any case, an agreement is essentially an arrangement with a customer that's meant to save time for your CSRs and dispatchers by basically auto scheduling the work. So let's walk through what the setup of an agreement looks like first. So again, here you can see I'm just in a demo environment that I've got set up and I'm in the field service application. I'm down here in the agreements and right now I've just got three agreements that are currently set up. So I have the ability to go in and create new, um, obviously delete an agreement if, if uh, my security role allows it. Uh, so I'm gonna jump in and show you what one of these existing ones looked like that I've got set up for today's demonstration. So you can see at the top, I've got my business process flow. So I've worked through this uh, for this particular case. Uh, I've got a service account, billing account, my status is active, and then most importantly over here on the right, I've got my booking set up. So as I go in here, and we'll just jump into this particular one that's already set up, you can see that this is, this is going to tell me, you know, or my installer more or less as well, what do we have to do when we get there? And it's also going to provide us with the dates that I've got uh, booking set up for. So I've already got these set up and you can see I've got one for the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, all at 7 a.m. So that would tell me that my booking recurrence is a daily uh, work order. So if I look over here on the right, you can see I've got a preferred resource, uh, preferred start time, which is indicated over here also on my booking. Uh, and then I've got it set to auto generate, estimated duration of two hours. And I've got some other settings that I can play with here as well. So pre and post booking flexibility, maybe this is the type of an agreement if you were to set it up uh, monthly and you could add some flexibility there where instead of it always having to be on the first of the month, I could say, I want to add two days of pre and post booking flexibility where that might allow me to schedule two days before or two days after, depending on the resources availability. And then you can also throw a window time uh, for start and end. So a lot of options there. Over on the left, you can see I've got it to set up to auto generate a work order. And I've got a work order type of inspection. So when you come in, you're going to throw a work order type in there. And you can also, and I'll show you this in a little bit, throw an inspection type in there, which would populate then your product service and service stats. So down here then next field, I've got work order days in advance to generate um, seven. So I want, I want these work orders to be created seven days in advance of the expected date for the work order to take place. I can choose a priority, add a summary, and then choose my location. Is this gonna be on site? Maybe it's something that is virtual. So you could set it up to just be location agnostic or at a facility as well. So if I jump into then my products, uh, services and service tasks, this would look very similar to uh, a work order where you can come in and you can add products you can add services and you can add service tasks to this booking. But instead of manually doing that, if you wanted to, you could come in and add an incident type. So you can see that I've got an incident type here. If I wanted to add one, I could come right here and add a new agreement booking incident. So if I was to do that, and I won't add it for this particular one, I would come in, choose my incident type. Instead of standard inspection, maybe I wanted it to 
be something else because I know that one of these other ones might add different services or service tasks. Add a description, estimated duration, and even a customer asset if we know that there is something that is going to be in our system that maybe we sold the customer in the past so we know that's what we're going to be working on. So I'm going to back up because I do have an incident type added here. I've got my booking dates. Now the other part of this is going in and setting your booking recurrence. So this is how often do I want these work orders to be generated. Now I've got this to repeat daily. Um, it's going to repeat every one day. I could say every other day if I wanted. Um, some other options that you would have in here would be weekly, monthly, or yearly. So if I wanted something that was maybe quarterly, I would say month. And then I would say maybe the first day of the month, but I'm going to every three months get this set up. So now I've got it set up for quarterly. And you can then choose your start and end date, um, as well as maybe add any extra days. Maybe you've got some particular days that you know you need to add to this in addition to what you've already got going on with your recurrence pattern. So you could go in and you could add specific dates here as well. Maybe I know that I need to be out there on the 24th uh, because it's the, it's the beginning of our setup here. And I also need to get out there the 6th. So I'm just gonna, I got these couple of dates in there just to make sure everything's uh, looking real good before we get into the full maintenance schedule. You could add those here as well. So I'm gonna cancel out of that because we've already got this one set up. And then I'm gonna go to my work orders. So you can see this has gone in then, and this has created a work order for every day for that particular agreement. Now, if I go into my schedule board, I'm also going to see these work orders assigned to that resource, which I designated as the preferred resource during that time. So, I'm going to filter my view here quick by re or by user for my resource. And as it's a demo environment, I only have a couple resources set up. So um, here you can see those agreements now set up as work orders. And again, this is set up for seven days in advance. So I'm going to see these every day for the next seven days. You can also set this up back where I was in my um, agreement here with it to be only on weekdays. So if I was to go into my booking setup, I could then come in and choose that I only want this to happen during the week. So Monday through Friday, obviously. That would eliminate any weekend scheduling. So just a little bit more flexibility there. All right. That's all I had for today on agreements. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.